Welcome to Namalsk, a map full of harsh landscapes and dangerous occupants. The weak, often found dead, rotten from frostbite and frozen over by the unforgiving cold. For those that do survive, there are rich rewards to be obtained. As for whoever was here before the current survivors, left a mystery with loads of secrets to what can only be explained as alien. The clues to find these riches are there to be found. The question is, can one man lead a team successfully through this formidable task? All right, welcome to Namalsk. There's been so much added to this since I last played it. I last played it whenever it very first came out and that was like almost two years ago, I think. I haven't even touched the map since then and uh, it's had so many updates. So I really want to give a go the um, new sort of lore uh, system that's been added to Namalsk, such as like alien planets and stuff. And um, see where our adventure takes us but for now i've got to get started i've got to meet my teammates and um i've got to get a base down and that's our objective for today and if we get that all complete then we might start looking into how we get to the alien planet with some objectives set for the day i was inclined to start running inland and get this adventure started and well i didn't really get too far before i came across another player's base oh there's a base in the church that's sick Whoa, this base is huge. That's such a cool base though. Anyone home? Hello? I'm friendly. I'm just a new survivor. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you, man? Alright. Are you good? I like your base. Good, good. I think this guy's like Russian or something. Yeah, yeah. Good base. Yeah, man. Really nice base. I like this. I rate this a lot. Um, are you friendly by any chance? Sometimes. And by any chance, would you have some uh, food to spare so I could venture south? Getting south without some kind of food source was going to be impossible, but this guy was going to help me out. I'm going to throw some, yeah? Okay, okay, man. Go for it. What's your name? Uh, Billy. My name's Billy. Kinda creeped out by this guy. Is it Hilly Billy? Yeah, that's me, yeah. Hill Billy Billy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it, yeah? Yeah, go for it, man. Oh. That better not be a grenade. Uh... Oh, I got it. Thank you so much, man. What? What's your name, dude? Maybe come back another time. I will. I will. Um, what? What's your name? I don't want to tell you my name yet. All right. Okay. Well, I know you're friendly, so I might pop back here if I don't get so lucky on my first go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Bye, bye. After having a brief encounter with a suspicious character, I headed up the hill towards a small military base to get some new loot. Okay, some boots and a ghillie cloak, we'll take that. And after finding a few items of clothing that were going to help me keep warm for my journey south, I headed towards the land bridge. Nice, we've got vest now. Let's go. After spending some time to get some extra loot from the land bridge, I continued heading south where I would eventually meet my teammates, but not before getting into some trouble. What the hell is going on? What is going on? I need to run. I think the storm's coming in. There's an EMP storm comes in and it like and that's how you get to the alien planet. You have to wait for one of these EMP storms. 
Um, we need to get the cover though, and I think that tire is going to be our best option. Oh no, we need to get in a tree. We might be screwed. This might hurt us. Okay, we lived through our very first EMP storm, but now you know what that's like, and as you can tell, it's done damage to me. After barely surviving through this storm, I continued to head towards the ruined town of Sebjin, where I would meet my teammates Tommy and Zodek. Alright, this is Sebjin. Yeah, I see you turn around, bro. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Hi, Zodek. Oh, hello, my fellow friends. Got... Ooh, that's good. Got them for you though, bro, yeah, man. Upon my arrival, Tommy was actually AFK, so we had to wait around for him to come back, and during that time, we thought we may as well get a heat buff. Nice. There we go. Right, hopefully that'll keep us warm. Right, I got a heat buff now, so I'm good. Hello there! Oh, you're back? Hello. We continued to wait out the night around our campfire, and eventually whenever it turned morning time, we headed out and continued south on our journey. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh! M16! Our path eventually took us to the Research Institute, where we had our first player interaction. Oh, suppress shots, suppress shots! On my right, on my right. Yeah. I thought they came from that building there. There's a guy below me. Oh, yeah. On the wall, on the wall, on my mark. Right, right, right. He's dead, 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 dead. dead. Good shit, good shit. Pushing it. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at his backpack. Let's go, boys. You do. Alright, get down into this bunker real quick. Let's just organize our loot. Guy outside, guy outside. I'm dead. I hit him twice. Okay. He's prone, he's prone, he's prone in the left corner. Tommy. Okay, one dead, one dead. One dead. I think I hit the other one. I, I killed. No, I didn't kill him. Are you I dead? Killed. No, I'm not dead, man. Okay, I killed one. I killed one. Oh yeah. Oh, the orange container, mate, on the right hand side, your side. Is he in? Yeah, he's in. Yeah. Okay, I hit him. I think he's hit me a few. I'm flashing. He's dead, 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 dead. Nice one. I'm flashing with help. All dead. Uh, Get an AKM. Okay. And a Winnie. These guys are super geared. Yeah. MVGs, everything. Oh my god, they're loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Absolutely loaded. Get in here, Zodan. Mm -hmm. Get in here. Mm -hmm. There's a suppressed gun, and that's an S16, I think. Not a key right outside. After getting pinned inside this bunker for over 30 minutes at this point, we had to make a choice. We could either stay in here and probably die, or make a run for it. No way. We would have to go at the end of the map. Yeah, we need to go circus, right? Right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Throw one out, maybe, as well. You said you got two. That's solid, that one. That's good, actually. Let's throw that. Now throw that one at the door. You ready, boys? Ready. I'm going first. Go. I'm fucking. I'm out. Suppress shots. We're good. 
Creating. Run, run, run. Get in the trees, run. Luckily, we were able to escape, but we had a much, much bigger problem at this point, and that was food. We had ran out after being inside for so long, and our best hope being down south was a herd of animals. Where are we gonna find food, like? I think we just need a loop generally, bro. Like, animal? Oh yeah, or an animal hunting, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah an animal up to the right. Go yeah, there's it. an animal up to the right, we need that. So let's go get that. Although we heard an animal, luck was not on our side. A snowstorm quickly set in, and if we didn't find shelter, we would quickly die of frostbite. This will do, we'll this'll be fine. Uh, this'll be fine. I'll make the fire, mate. Need yeah, to hurry up because my feet and that are getting. You, want to put, you can put your feet in my mouth if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Come from. Oh, I'm red food now too. I'm red health. Oh no, this is it not good, boys? This I'm is red, not good at all. I'm gonna die, to be honest with you, boys. Get your wet stuff on the floor. Okay, all my stuff's dry again. The one piece of luck we did have was that Zodek managed to find a fishing rod, and this gave us a food source. Fish. You got one? Yeah, 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 I got one. Okay, we'll Alright, bring it back here, I'll cook it, and you keep fishing. Oh, I caught one instantly! I'm full and everything, got heat buff, clothes are dry. That plate carrier looks nice, though, so no. I know. Put it, put it with comfy. I know, it's really nice. Right, yeah. boys, let's get in the road. Let's get out of here. After actually managing to survive, we headed south in hopes of finding a place to build. Oh, there's a V3S there! You're gonna clear the, the glass building? You can build it, it so. There's Plank Pal here, I mean we Find could build right thing. here. This is a really good spot. Bro, this has 30 sheet metal in it! Okay, it's missing its truck battery. But we got everything we need to build, if you guys want to build. We yeah, play, I mean, like we could valley. over. We could take. Oh, there's storage here as well. What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances? We could build. We could take the top room of the glass building. Oh, yeah, that's oh, what I'm thinking. Why don't we just block off a single room in that glass building? You want to take the one above the ladder? Do you want to take the room? <clears throat> Let me see. You uh, can get onto the roof on the outside though, because it's got scaffolding, which is a bit of an issue. We've got four boxes of nails, we can just wall off the door. So we, bro. No, we need the room, just one of the rooms for now. Yeah, I think we're just building this room. It's time to leave. Yes, you're. GG boys. So yeah, GG, that was lots. good. Nice that was good. We now had a place to call home, and this would be our base of operations for this entire adventure. The next day, we would get started on getting everything to go to the alien planet. But for now, let me tell you about today's sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game that has ever been made. You can play with over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships all in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Each vehicle has its own in-depth customization system with hundreds of camouflages and 3D decorators such as bushes and equipment. Every vehicle is also incredibly detailed and modelled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience. War Thunder offers multiple levels of immersion for all playstyles, so whether you're looking for a more realistic and tactical experience, or perhaps a more laid-back, fast-paced style, then look no further because War Thunder has it all. One of my personal favourite aspects about War Thunder is the incredible graphics and details, especially in 4K resolution, and when paired with the authentic sound effects and music, you really have no problem immersing yourself within this game. 
Play War Thunder now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 or the previous console generations and use my link in the description to register yourself for a large free bonus pack which includes access to premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and much more. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video but let's get back to our story. Before we hop into day 2, let me get you up to speed on how you go to the alien planet called Lantia. We would essentially need all of these components to get there, each of which were only found at specific locations, and some of which we would need to craft the suit which would allow us to survive in Lantia itself. Once we had everything we needed, we would then activate a reactor, jump through a portal and go to a place called Athena 3 where we would activate another reactor using specific components and then be able to jump through another portal to Lantia. The first item on our list was the keycard and it was found at the submarine known as SCAT 12. It was all the way on the ice in the top right of the map and in order to get there there were a few items we needed. Firstly a dry bag, ammo and food. Guy dead here, with a the Humvee. There's a frippin' Humvee here, man. I'm dead. Don't even know where I'm from. I was in the building. Killed another. He's dead. Does this guy have a battery by any chance? Oh my god, Tommy man! Oh my god, Tommy man! After another quick PvP session, I had everything we needed to go to the submarine, and after surviving another storm, it was finally time. But before we set off for the submarine, I thought it was best we'd probably make some upgrades to our base. After all, we were a one door raid, and we had a lot of stuff at this point. Nice. With our base a lot more secure at this point, it was finally time to head to the submarine. Right, have you got everything? Here's a fire for you. I got lighter, I got food. Um, you got water. Uh, mm -hmm. We got our dry bag, so our stuff's not going to get wet, and we got all the ammo we're going to need. Right, are you ready? Yeah, this is rough, this bit. Is that the bridge? It's coming on the bridge. Oh, uh, he's smashing. I'm getting ready to take wait, a shot. Wait, 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 wait. Right, I'm gonna have to Missed. Yeah, I hit me good dead. Good shot, good shot. He was good. Yeah, he was. Oh, bro, he's stuck, me. Yeah, loot that shit. Oh, shit. We're gonna swim across here to... There's a little island, I think, over this way, which is about 300 meters away. Yeah, 245. Swim to yeah. that, and then we need the island hop for a little bit, all mm -hmm. the way up. Oh my god, we have so far to go. Yeah. We have so <laughs> far to go. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's do this. Yeah. Alright, first island done. Alright, we're over. We're on the main ice. Let's 
so now it's just a case of navigating our way around all these little streams and then we'll eventually come to the submarine. Damn, it's crazy out here, man. Look at that massive hole, what the hell? Wait, I think I see it. I see it, bro. Oh yeah, sure, there it is. There she is. Oh, oh bear in front, holy shit. Oh, no, it's pull about. Look at it. Hello, buddy. Oh, that's so cool. The men would be stronger as well, I I've never shit. seen a polar bear before in Daisy. That is cool. cool. We need to kill that though. <laughs> we need to put it in. <laughs> We've got to kill this beautiful thing. <laughs> oh no. I might have fucked up. Oh my god, they are stronger. Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> it just wasn't fucking dropping, bro. Like, oh, what? You got a knife? Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay, cut yeah. her up. I'm pretty much there with me when I'm carry. Alright, onto the submarine. We're very close. I can see it. Guy, no, guy, 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 guy. Over there. Behind that hill. On my mark. He might have the key card on him. We have to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, eyes on. Eyes on him, yeah. I'm taking a shot here, bro. Yeah, he's going back. Hit. He's hit. Good shit, good shit. Oh my god, it's hit me. He's fucked, bro. He's fucked up. He's moving behind. He's behind them. Um, I missed. I missed. He's behind that big hill. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving left. I missed. He's still on it. He's still on it. I just seen his head. He sees me, bro. I need help. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Good shit. Dead. I'm red. Oh my god, bro. That was bad. That was really bad. Is he solo, really? Oh my god. Oh that's my that's god. That's Two that's claymores, bro. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, more drum mags, M4, helmet, everything. He's loaded. No key card though. I'm flashing, bro. I might die here, Lewis. Uh, I'm I got a fire. fire. I, I got fire. Right here. Hey, bro. My lighter's ruined. No shit. I swear to God. That's so bad. He must have hit me in the bag. Luck really didn't seem to be on our side during this adventure, and that wasn't going to change anytime soon. I'm dead. Uh, Fuck. What did I do? I found my only option was to hide it out until Zodek could get back. He had respawned on the beach and was gonna meet up with Tommy, who had logged in at this stage. They both got geared up together and headed back out onto the ice. Hey boys. Hi buddy. Hi. Hi Welcome back, you're here. After finally regrouping, we headed over to the submarine in hopes of finding that keycard. Oh, I think we're here. There it is. Oh yeah, there she is. And after arriving at the submarine, we got a little more than we bargained for. A whole lot of shit on the oh, floor. we need that. Ooh. Oh, there's another one down there. No, it's a red one. A flashbang. Tommy, go. Clear. All right, we're in. Oh, I've just found a pulse all okay, huh? Oh really? Yeah. Oh, we need that. All right, let's have a look around. Right. I'm oh. dead. Sky above. I'm actually so done. Fuck. Oh my god. 
What are the chances there's a guy above us, bro? Watch the ladder, there's another way in, I think, bro, another ladder. I'm watching this ladder. That's There's a ladder at that fire, or fire, and there's a ladder at the back where we came in. One dead. You good? Good shit, good shit. I'm holding this door still. I think I killed him. Yeah, I think it might be solo, but I'm not too sure. I don't hear That's anyone true. else. This guy had a dry bag and shit. <laughs> I, think I, I think I just heard a grenade. I think I just heard a grenade. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. I'm good. Don't pick that. On my side. There's there's yeah, another one on my I'm side as well, holding. I think. I was just holding. Once again we find ourselves trapped inside something we couldn't really escape too easily. Um, <laughs> but I took this to our advantage and started looking for that key card. Oh key card. No shit. We had found the key card and a few other items that we were gonna need in order to get to Lantia. But that didn't change the fact we were pinned inside this death trap. I really think we have to make a move and just run for it. Can you say, buddy? Please. Right, cover, 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 cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No eyes on anything. Just yeah. run. Mm -hmm. All right. I have no idea where the guy that was camping the submarine went, but finally luck had changed it into our favor, at least for the time being. <coughs> Welcome home, boys. <coughs> we only need a blue dial and a blueprint, and we can go get the suit, and then we're ready to start the Lantia suit. Out of the filaments, the blue one was the only one we needed, and as we had already been to the submarine, we decided we would go to the bearing outpost in order to find this. But before we would get that chance, we got a little distracted. Fire. Where? In the L ship. It's locked. I'm gonna unlock I'm gonna lock it. Um, no, you should shoot oh, it. Oh. Shoot it. Yeah. Okay, he's M4. Um he doesn't sound too happy. One's hitting the legs. He's behind the door, spread through the door, bro. The claymore. I just shot the claymore. Nice, nice, nice. Gear in the door. There's so much one dead, one dead. Hold it, just hold it. Dead. He's dead. Oh, another one, another one! Back, back of the room! Okay, Zodak, hold it, mate. Hold He's it, dead. Zodak. Since arriving home from the submarine, we had noticed that people just kept wandering around our area. Oh, I just got shot at. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Hey, Lewis, if he says below me, I can... He's dead. Oh, yeah. Dead. After somewhat successfully clearing out our area, we returned to base and had a new objective in mind. After all, we had made so much noise, and so we had to make some base upgrades. After making another successful upgrade to our base and making it even stronger than it already was, we waited until the morning time in order to pay our attention to getting that final blue filament from the bearing outpost. Oh nice. So we got all this to play with now, so we're doing good. At least people kind of come in and <laughs> use the fire now. Yeah, true. Right, anyway, let's head off uh, to the bearing outpost, which is all the way in the top left 
of the ice. Now unfortunately the map of Namalsk I got doesn't actually include a diagram of the ice, but what I can tell you is that Bering Outpost is all the way out here, and in order to get there, it would be another long journey for us. Oh, doors closed. They're on left. They're on the right. No, he's dead though. Good shit. Two dead. Good shit! So we gotta go across that ice all the way out, and there's an outpost out there somewhere. After clearing up all the loot from the two guys that Zodek managed to kill, we headed down to the coastline, where there was a boat that we could cross over at. This was the quickest way that we could see to get to the Bering outpost. I think I see the outpost. I see it. Oh, <gasps> no way! Oh my god. This is huge. This is huge. Now all we need is a blueprint. We actually ended up staying in the Bering Outpost for quite some time collecting extra filaments to craft a second suit. Then we headed back to base where we stored it all away. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, thank god, right, all the um, stuff's out here to so... What a, there what it a is. fucking man, what a man that is, exclusion. After taking a short break, we came back to some rather intriguing characters outside. I burn my apple. One dead. dead. One's Yours. dead. You're insane. Do they have anything? Pioneer Espresso AK. Get rid of a pioneer. Oh, fire! Where? Over here. That wasn't there a second ago. Over there. On the fire? Yeah. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Right, zombies are shooting zombies. I can kill him here. There's more than one. He's there? One dead. Another one dead? Both dead, both dead. One more, one more, oh, one more! There's two more. Kill one, kill another. One, one up there, mate. I'm dead, I'm dead, he's right there, bro. Yeah? Right there. He's suppressed, he's limping though. Although I managed to die, Tommy managed to kill the last guy. And I started making my way back to gather all this loot. Okay, I'm here. I'm ready to mingle. These guys are fucking loaded on ammo. Oh. My god, man. Insane. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And that encounter right there marks the end of our day. The only thing left to find was the blueprint, and there was only one place they spawned. What is that? Oh. There's like a submarine down here. These red submarines had a small chance of spawning one of these blueprints in, so we headed over to Tara Island, where they spawned, and started looking. Oh, I found a red submarine. I got it. No shit. I got it, I got it, I got it. This was a lucky fight. And whilst we were here on Tara Island, we were gonna head over to the hospital. We need the NBC gear in order to do the next step. Slowly but surely, we found bits and pieces that belong to the NBC kit. 
but we weren't the only ones looking for this, or so it seemed. Oh, is that you? No, 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 I was at the base. There's the base. Guy? Where, where? Where? On the shop front, he's running at the shop now. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, it's a bow okay. okay. Did this uh, fucking door? Did it? Yeah, there's two claymores at this. They're raiding it, maybe? Yeah, they are. They're raiding this. Huh. Nice. So you get it right in there. Hey. Nice. What the hell is this base, man? There's not a thing in here, bro. Like, not a thing. Oh my god. We've done it, Zodek. We've actually done it. Fuck, bro. We've got it's, uh... everything. <laughs> it's crazy. You know what it is, bro? It's crazy how long it took me to do it. It has been a challenge, man. Right, so the blueprint. Boom. We have everything to craft suit. The oil rig. This is where you would craft the suit to go to Lantia with all the components we had collected so far. It was a toxic zone and that's why we needed the NPC gear, but at this point, we had everything. I've got all the stuff to craft my suit, I've got the wrench to repair the gas leak, got my NPC suit, all the filaments, keycard, all that. Right, let's go meet Tommy. We've got everything. Sure. Me and Zodek set off from our base with all the components back to Tara Island to meet back up with Tommy who had got another blueprint so we could craft two suits. After making our way to the top of Tara Island and meeting back up with Tommy, we set our sights on replenishing our character's hunger and water levels because this was going to be a long journey. When we were finally ready, we made that swim out onto the ice once again. This would be the final time we would ever have to do this, but it was going to be worth it. The only problem was, with this being a desirable location, we weren't the only ones heading out here. That cat's in front of us. Where? Right there. Running left. I see him, bro. I see him. Oh, shit. I can't hit these shots, you know. I can see them all. I can't see Tommy Two guy right now. I see the hillbilly one guy now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's picking just to the left of the hillbilly one. Get well, I haven't got the score for me, I'm using a fucking old vehicle. Kill him, kill one, kill Nice, 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 nice. Hit, hit him once, Push hit him once. Nice I'm pushing up with you, Tommy, I'm pushing up with you. Left side. Not, not dead. I wish I had a score. But it don't. He's moving so right, he's moving right, he's moved back to the right. Hillbilly uh, 2. It's gonna be um, over here, El Billy One. Mm. Oh, no, I'm making a exactly swim if you guys can cover. Like I said, yeah, exactly yeah. where he is. He's, back. He's, right. moved. He's, he's moved to the left of the mark, I suppose, and he just to try and remove the left of the markers. He's on the right hand side, it's hard to see, bro, with him on at all. Am I making so a mark on that way? He's, he's, he's on the right hand side of your Hill Billy One right now. Moving down the hill, moving right, far right, pushing far, far right, bro. Far right. Help, he's, he's shooting us, I need help boys, I've had to lie down, I think. He's, he's behind this hill. No, he's not, he's held by three. And he's pushing me. He's dead. Nice! That's why you fucking need me. Fuck you. Let's, Let's go! go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Just make it as quick as possible, please. Right, so Zodek, we need to put our NBC mm. gear on, so... Okay, NBC gear needs to go on. We had one shot at this. If we mess this up, then we would lose everything and be back to square one. Oh my god, this is scary, bro. I was trying to be as fast as possible here. I just needed to find the 3D printer. 
Oh. Aha! 3D printer. Okay, so we add blue filament, orange filament, red filament, key card, blueprint, start printing. Ooh! Windows Expedia, or whatever you call that. XP, that's it. Okay, I think we just gotta wait for this to do its magic, and then we'll get an, we'll get a uh, a suit that lets us go to Lantia. We were getting so close now to being able to go to Lantia. I just needed to wait for my suit to craft, and then let Zodek craft his own, and then get back to base safely. Oh, it's done. All right, let's see, boys. Okay, so I can get my keycard back, but these have been used up. Right, before we pick that up, let me try to fix the valves one more time. Okay. Well, I've done it, so it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Let's just hope for the best. What do I do with this, boys? Oh, it made a cool noise. Can I wear a backpack? Nah. I've just got the storage inside of the thing. Oh, I'll have to leave my MC gear here. That sucks. We're looking like a freaking space alien now, though. Let's go. From the moment I spawned as a fresh spawn, I had been waiting for this moment. From the very start of our journey, everything had been building up to this moment to go to Lantia. We had struggled through days of finding each and every piece of component. And now that we have everything, from the keycard to the suit, it was time to head on to the final stretch of this journey. way to make it to Lantia was to wait for an EMP storm and we could detect one coming with a muon detector. We just had to wait for it to beep. 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 Who the fuck's beeping? <laughs> You're not from here. <laughs> How long is this gonna take man? Is that it? Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. I was organizing loot. Sure enough, the storm had come. And that meant we were now on a time limit. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes. But Thanks so. Got oh, everything. Here. Time to go, boys. Time to go. Are we ready, boys? Go. As you already know, the first stretch of the journey was to head over into Athena 2 and activate the reactor. Right, so we put it in here, right? Yeah, in here, bro. Yeah. Where? In where? In, in, in there, in there, in this, in this, yeah, I think it's in this. I think we'll do something with this. Oh, star, star flash reactor. Right, and then oh I think we'll go. Now we've got to go. Now I think we've right, got to go. we got to go. Two minutes we got, right? Yeah, yeah some shit like that, I think. I'm dropping the flare. From Athena 2, we would have to run all the way to Athena 1, where a portal would be waiting to take us to Athena 3. This is it. We're going. We're in the toxic zone now, so get your gas masks on. 
This is the A2, right? A. Or A1, yeah. sorry. This is the, this is A1. The portal's there! Alright, Tommy, through first, then Zuhai, then me. Oh, he's got a bit of, a bit of stamina. See on the other side. Can you move us down, What the fuck? Alright, we're in. Um, I have no idea where we are. Oh, okay, we're in the reactor room. Where are you guys? I'm, we're at the old bro, we spawned on the teleporter okay, thing. Well, I'm at the reactor, so I'll come meet you guys. We just gotta make sure that no one gets in, because uh, people can still jump in, so just be ready. I just need to meet up with you, climb this ladder. With us now inside Athena 3, the only thing we had to do now was wait for this initial portal to turn off, and then we could activate the portal to Lantia. Alright, I'm here. Yeah, for some reason the party mod's not working, that's so weird. Okay, so I think once this shuts off, and as long as we don't hear any more teleportation noises, then we're good. Yeah, yeah. After the initial portal shut off, we were safe. We had to spend some time looking for O2 tanks and batteries for our suits in order to make them work. But we only found one O2 tank, so we had to head into Lantia, where they also spawned. Right, you guys ready? Yes, you. Um, yeah. Enable flax power supply. Oh. That's Hello. so cool. With this reactor activated, we were one step away from Lantia. Oh. Here we go. We just gotta wait for this to turn on. Oh. Is this it? Can we jump in? I think this is it, bro. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay. Should I try, Put guys? my O2 tank in. I'm putting a fresh gas filter on. I'm going. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, man. Hey. There's a bunch of these. Oh, sir. There's a bunch of flow controllers. Be careful, you might die. I'm dying, bro. I'm dying, bro. Unfortunately, both Tommy and Zodek died. Die, Zodek couldn't find any components for his suit. I only found one battery in this entire place, and that was enough for me to survive. Oh my god, I've got a full suit. I was now alone inside Lantia, and all I had to do was wait for this portal to close, and I would officially be safe. So much funky shit is happening right now. Okay, we're safe. No one can get in. I started exploring this alien planet. After all, there was loads to look at. And it was a cool environment to be inside of in DayZ. There's nothing really like this in any other map. And for that, I'm glad I did this challenge. I love this lighting and stuff. All these items are new to Daisy. I've never seen these before. Oh. 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 No way. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, that's 
kind of cool. Oh, I thought it was from Deer Isle, that's cool. I guess this is my new home now, because unless someone activates the portal by the time my batteries have run out, then I'm stuck in here forever, until I die. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Go download the game using the link in my description and enjoy the free bonus pack including premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and much much more. What are you waiting for?